I'm Will Jackson. I'm the director of Engineered Arts Limited. Why a robotic theatre? Why would we do this? You've probably seen the film Jaws and, and Scary Shark. Then imagine you went for a swim and that same shark was swimming next to you. That's a very different experience. And that's what we're trying to bring to the audience is theatre is very much about a performance on stage. And it's a wonderfully powerful, emotive thing to watch human actors perform. At the same time, a robot theatre can bring that performance to many, many more people than would be accessible to live performers. <gasps> so does that win? Gref. So this particular theatre that we're looking at is installed at Copernicus Science Centre, which is a very popular destination with over one million visitors per year. Their mission is to communicate science topics to the public. Reason for the robots is to try and bring some of the more abstract ideas to people in a very accessible way. Let me remind you that you've been foully deceived. So the theatre we're looking at is actually the second iteration of robotic theatres at Copernicus Science Centre. Uh, the original was installed in 2011 and ran for 20,000 performances. So robotic theatre is, is more than just robots. Uh, a theatre show is lighting, it's projection, it's sound. One big advance is we now have in our virtual robot system the ability to program multiple robots to include DMX, moving headlights, to include moving video effects, to include multi-channel sound. That's a lot of information. What we've done is bundle all of that into one theatre performance which means you can preview the entire experience in a, in a virtual world. When your theatre performance is complete, all you have to do is click Transfer. Copernicus Science Centre staff themselves are now able to simply author new shows. The characters have customizations, they have different faces, they have different clothes. So we've now adopted a kind of magnetic system uh, that means that's much simpler for the uh, theatre operators to change over the show. So the theatre itself on a day-to-day -day operations basis is controlled from a touchscreen panel. From there you can select uh, any number of shows that you might have pre-installed. You can also run uh, uh, lighting tests, uh, house lights on off, uh, volume level control, all, all of those things you might need to do uh, in a traditional theatre can be done from the touchscreen interface. From power up to robot performance, we're talking about one minute. This is not just a one-off, this is a system that we can reapply, reconfigure for telling other stories in other venues. So it's very much about creating a fantastic user experience for the minimum amount of technical effort and really preserving the creative content, providing the artistic freedom. <laughs>